start with the name of almighty allah who is the most merciful most beneficent assalam alaikum dear educarians how are you all hope you all are fine by the grace of allah inshallah dear students this is our third lesson of science as you know we had started unit number 4 natural resources and in previous lesson we discussed about water other natural resources and wind in today's lesson we are going to discuss our next topics changes in our environment and endangered animals in pakistan i hope you all are excited for this lesson so let's begin students the material required for this lesson is pencil eraser highlighter scale science textbook and science notebook i hope you all collect all these things and you are ready for this lesson firstly we are going to revise our previous lesson in our previous lesson we discussed about how much earth is covered by water almost 3/4 of the earth is covered by water it covers almost 75% of earth surface in the forms of oceans rivers and lakes after that we learn about what is the percentage of fresh water on earth the amount of fresh water on the land is very small only 3% as compared to the amount of sea water after that we learn about what are minerals minerals are the solid substances that occur naturally and pakistan has a very good supply of non metallic minerals such as emeralds and rubies at the last we learn about what is wind wind is one of the element of weather it is the movement of air that can be felt against our face and body we can see the effects of wind by the movement of objects here is the content of our today's lesson as you know we had started unit number 4 natural resources and today we are going to discuss page number 38 and 39 from textbook then we will do our notebook work today we will do i wonder and remember and understand on our notebook the learning objectives of our today's lesson are after today's lesson you will be able to discuss about changes in our environment by the end of the lesson you will be able to discuss about endangered animals of pakistan students now we are going to start our reading so open your science textbook from page number 38 write day date and today's task i hope you all collected all the things that we needed for this lesson so let's start changes in our environment there are many people living on our planet but there is a limited amount of natural resources for all living things it's up to us to take care of our environment and make sure we are not wasting our precious resources underline this line students from time to time changes environmental conditions occur as a result of natural and human factors obviously the natural factors are almost beyond human control human lives are directly linked to the climate therefore there is no gain saying that human activities are changing the climate wind rain and earthquakes are all examples of natural processes which impact on ecosystem humans also affects ecosystem by reducing habitats over hunting broadcasting pesticides or fertilizers and other influences one of the effects of wasting natural resources is that we will run out of them one day in addition cutting down large areas of forests can also have a negative impact on the climate underline this line the most common reason is to clear the land to make farm and colonies they also cut trees for firewood and timber to make rooms for cities deforestation destroy the habitat of many animals and birds leading to their death 
as the population grows people need to remove more trees they also use the wood from the trees to make buildings and other things or they burn the trees as firewood endangered animals of pakistan when trees are cut down for use as firewood or timber we also lose the wildlife which lives there an example is the endangered balochistan forest dove mouse underline this line whose numbers are reducing due to destruction of their forest habitat students these dove mouse are mostly found in forests they hibernate themselves in trees they spend most of their lives in trees they are omnivores feeding on seeds birds invertebrates eggs and baby birds some of the endangered species of pakistan include marhor our national animal mountain weasel asian black bear black finless purpus european otter vole and indus river dolphin underline this line animals are an important part in pakistan's ever so beautiful landscapes sadly due to increase in population destruction of habitats and hunting these animals are at risk of extinction students here we have some animals that are at high risk of extinction now it's our duty to provide them safe habitat and avoid hunting endangered animals of pakistan here's first one is marhor our national animal this is a wild goat also known as screw horn goat according to folklore marhor has the ability to kill a snake mountain weasel these are creatures that live in the higher altitudes mainly in kashmir asian black bear this black monster seems to be an interesting hunting trophy for many people black finless porpoises for a sea creature to be finless and unique should be all for special treatment and preservation european otter it is a water animal and the amount of pollution in our water is not surprising so it is one of the most rapidly dying creature in pakistan forest dove mouse this tiny creature is apparently an ingredient in medicine an interesting fact this creature has a crescent shape on its chest vol due to habitat changes these little rats are facing threats of extinction indus river dolphin this is a dolphin at high risk this is one of the most recognized sea creature we have if we are not careful in preserving the habitats of our planet more plants and animals will become extinct in the last 100 years we have had a number of birds land and sea animals go extinct over 600 types of plants have become extinct in the last 250 years students underline this line the main reason that animals and plants become extinct or threatened is because their habitat has been destroyed or changed their habitat is the place where they live it contains all that they need to survive they have space light water food shelter and a place to breed humans have a lot of power to change and destroy habitats pollution from cars and trucks chemicals have an effect on natural environment now here the question is that what should we do to help to save threatened species students we should must do some things to save these species we should conserve habitats do not dump weeds in the bushes plant more trees reuse or recycle make compost or protect wildlife habitat i wonder here's our question is is the increase in temperature during summer related to changes in environment and our answer is yes cutting down trees or digging up large areas of land for oil or gas cause increase in temperature of the planet 
remember and understand here's our question number 1 is can you suggest some ways to protect endangered animals and our answer is provide them safe habitat and ban on hunting endangered animals for their skin and meat our question number 2 is which human activities are not good for the environment and our answer is cutting down trees dumping trash and waste liquids in water or land add harmful things to our environment now it's time for your notebook work open your notebook as you know at this page you will write your index firstly we will write serial number after that we will write date for which we are working then we will write topic i wonder remember and understand textbook page number 38 and 39 students firstly we will draw margin line write day date and today's task then we will write topic unit number 4 natural resources i wonder textbook page number 38 here's our question is is the increase in temperature during summer related to changes in environment and answer is yes cutting down trees or digging up large areas of land for oil or gas cause increase in temperature of the planet here's we also draw margin line write day date today's task then write topic unit number 4 natural resources remember and understand textbook page number 39 and our question number 1 is can you suggest some ways to protect endangered animals our answer is provide them safe habitat and ban on hunting endangered animals for their skin and meat at this page we will also draw margin line write today's task and our question number 2 is which human activities are not good for the environment our answer is cutting down trees dumping trash and waste liquids in water or land add harmful things to our environment i hope you all understand today's lesson your today's tasks are learn highlighted points from page number 38 and 39 do i wonder and remember and understand from textbook page number 38 on your notebook i hope you will complete this task with zeal and zest running running is a popular form of physical activity running is an appealing exercise because it doesn't cost a lot to take part and you can run at any time that suits you here's we have some benefits of running running can help to build strong bones running strengthen muscles running improves cardiovascular fitness running helps to maintain healthy weight running burn plenty of fat I hope today's lesson is helpful for you and you all understand each and every point. I'll see you in next lesson. Take care of yourself. See you soon inshallah. Till that time, Allah Hafiz. Have a good day.